So we will continue with the Java identifier. Okay. So let's talk. Um, actually, we need to continue with the guidelines for Java um, identifiers. Um, names, uh, uh, naming your identifiers close to its functionality. Just like what I've mentioned with our last, uh, with our preview subject, uh, we need to make sure that the identifier or the variable name that you're trying to create should be related to the, to the functionality of that specific variable. Next, method and variable names start in lowercase while classes start in uppercase, just like what I did earlier. So again, it's better if you will put um, if you will create a an uppercase letters or the class names should be in uppercase, then your methods and your variables should be in lowercase. Okay. For multi-word identifiers, either use underscores to separate the words or capitalize the start of each word. Avoid starting the identifiers using the underscore. There you go. We have an example here. This is, uh, these are valid um, identifiers. Student, pi master, pi underscore master, pi master, pi four, pi two four, uh, pi two pi, um, dollar, um, dollar sign man, um, a dollar sign again, then dollar man, then pi method. And these identifiers are all invalid. Again, uh, it's not allowed to put a, a number or a digit on the first hand. And also, it's you're not allowed to put a, um, a dash or a special character aside from dollar sign and also the underscore. You're not allowed to, create, uh, to use um, double quotation, a slash, and also a void because void is considered as a reserve word. Okay? Like that one. Okay. So keywords or Java keywords or reserve words. These are the keywords or the reserve words that you can use later on if we will talk about methods. And you are not allowed to use these keywords as your variables or variable names or your literals or identifiers. Okay? Let's proceed. Java literals. If we will talk about literals, uh, literals are the representation of values. So we have integers, um, float, or the floating point number. We have booleans that contains true or false. We have strings that enclosed with double quotation, and the character that enclosed with single quotation. 